I'm Matt, a, also known as Spade49, and I'm going to teach you how to create a cascading particle effect on Flash. Now, first we want to insert a new symbol, movie clip, and it's going to be called Particle. And we're going to create a gradient to make sure we have no stroke color, and have it selected to radial, have our start color as red and ending at orange. Set the alpha of the orange to zero so it fades and now we'll create a circle. Select it and center it to the stage. Go into a line. Make sure the stage is selected. Center horizontal and center vertical. And it's in the middle. And now we're going to insert another movie clip call it fall and we're going to insert our particle in our first frame create a motion tween I'm assuming you already know how to do that create a motion tween and make sure it's selected and set the last frame color alpha zero so it fades out and just drag it so face down and make sure we add these actions to the end of our last frame stop so it just doesn't keep looping and just not you know looking stupid and this dot remove movie clip which removes the movie clip and we're gonna go back to our stage go to fall which is the motion tween you just created property no linkage and export for action script export in first frame and we'll just call it fall and now we'll put go to the stage and put in these actions now first var i equals zero I'll explain what that does in a short while var dep equals one which I'll explain later. It's going to be the what we're going to use for the depth and root dot on mouse move equals function and everything inside this function will happen when each time the mouse is moved. Var p equals root dot attach movie and it's going to be called fall which is a linkage name we just gave it and then a new game, new name is going to be fall mc w w just um, a new instance name mc standing for movie clip it doesn't have to be mc plus i which is going to give it add the value of i to the end of this movie clip and then plus plus to increase i by one every time this happens and root dot depth, which is the depth variable, which is like a layer in Flash but in Action Script. And yeah, it's going to increase um, every time. Depth plus plus, increase our depth every time this occurs. So every new particle is on a new layer and p dot underscore x equals x mouse which is the x coordinate of the mouse do the same thing for the y axis and now we're going to have it scaled x scale which is um, it's going to scale the x axis according to the number we put and it's going to scale the x and the y by the same amount so x p dot x scale equals p dot y scale equals math dot random times a hundred, which is going to pick a random number between one and a hundred, and then we don't want our particles being invisible or extremely small. So plus fifty. This way, it's going to be at least fifty, and just end our function. Set our background color to black so it's a little bit better, prettier on the eyes. And we export our movie, control enter, 
and you see we move particle and I hope you learn huzzah.